Today in our infectious medicine lecture, we will discuss about the candidiasis. And in this we will talk in detail. First we will go over the uh, what is candidiasis. So I will tell you uh, what is candidiasis, what's the different species of fungi that cause candidiasis and then what are the uh, manifestations of candidiasis. Then we will also talk about different species of candidiasis uh, or candida which leads to candidiasis. The most common species is the candida albica. But besides that we have other uh, candidal uh, species that can cause candidiasis. So we will talk about them in detail in our today's lecture. Then the next thing I will go over with you will be the pathogenesis of candidiasis and we will discuss that how the infection of uh, candida spread and how it reaches the deep part of the body and how it disseminate or colonize the bloodstream. Then we will go over the clinical manifestations of candidiasis and in the clinical manifestation we will discuss separately uh, the manifestations of the skin, cutaneous manifestation, chronic uh, mucocutaneous manifestations of the candidal infection. Then we will talk about the vulvovaginal manifestations of the candidal infection. And then very important disseminated deep uh, manifestations of the uh, candidiasis. So all that we will discuss in our today's topic and then we will go over to the diagnostic part and then we will talk what are the different important tests we can perform for the diagnosis and the most important specific will be the visualization of the hyphae and the pseudo hyphae and then we will talk about different stains which can be used for the identification. Then next step will be the treatment. Uh, the uh, clinical uh, diagnosis of the candidiasis once you will go over this topic you will see it's not really that hard but the important part is now how we will treat this infection and then we will go over the treatment options available for the skin uh, candidiasis for the disseminated type of candidiasis and all those manifestations and also we will discuss about the treatment in the neutropenic patients when they have weak immune system. Then finally, we will go over some uh, drugs which are used as a prophylactic measures and prophylaxis is the prevention. What are the drugs we can use to prevent the infection uh, caused by Candida albica? So all that we will discuss in our today's topic of Candidiasis. So uh, you have another lectures available on the website. Subscribe our website of scardia.com and you can also have a free trial and you can get the free trial and you can watch the lectures available on the website thank you for watching scardia.com